Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to combine all versions of Windows into one ISO. Now, if you're looking to uh, say combine Windows 10 and Windows 11 into one ISO, then I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to be combining Windows 11 and Windows 11 Lite and make one ISO. So any version of Windows can be used. So we've got two uh, ISOs here. I'm going to mount one of these, and what we're going to do is we'll show you exactly step by step on how to achieve this so we're going to be doing this in command prompt so we've got our iso mounted and uh, i'm going to go into the sources folder here and inside here you should see an install.wim or an install.esd in this case it's install.wim and uh, that is a part of the puzzle done so what we need to do here is right click on this and copy as path so in here copy as path so let's go ahead and copy this. And what we need to do now is open up our document. So we're going to open up a document here so I can show you the command that you're going to use because you need to uh, change it for your own self. But first, let's open up command prompt by typing CMD and run this as administrator. So now we're inside here. We need to get our command ready. And this is the command that we're going to be using. Now, your file path will be the file path for your computer. Mine is uh, going to be different to yours so i'm going to paste mine in here as you just see me copy it I'm going to remove these quotation marks here because we don't need these and this is our command that we need to use so let's go ahead and copy this and paste this into our command prompt once we do this it will give us some information so let's go ahead right click paste and push enter and then what you're going to see is a bunch of indexes here these are the versions of windows that are on this iso file so I'm going to be interested in Windows 11 Pro. So we need to find the index for that. And it's called index six. So we need to remember index six. So that's what we're going to be using for our build. So let's go back to our document here because we need to write up another command to uh, do this. So let's go into our document and I'll show you the command what it is. I'll leave these in the, in the actual video description and you can edit them to suit. So, for instance, we need to change our path. So I'm going to copy this path and put this as the source path here. Yours will be different, but I'm going to put mine in here. Next, we need to change uh, the index. So let's go ahead and change this. Now, remember, it was index 6, so we're going to put 6 in here. And we now need to change the destination path. And the destination path will be uh, where we're going to change it. So index 6 is done. So let's check our uh, destination path. Now I've got two folders here. I can put them into here. Uh, but to show you what I mean here, I'm going to go up to the top here and copy this path here. And this means it's going to go into the Win11 ISO folder. And I can drag it into which folder I want once it's completed. You can do it whatever way you like. So the destination path needs to be changed. So there it is there. And if I wanted to put it into one of my other folders, I could put the extension on the end here just like so and just put this extension in here. So I need to put in install.wim, and this is the actual file that's going to go into the Win11 ISO folder. It's that simple. So we can now copy this whole command and paste this into our uh, command prompt. So let's go back to the command prompt here and paste this in, and it's going to extract the, that file for us. So let's go ahead, and you can see it now exporting the image file so that's now done it should say completed at the bottom once it's finished it says 100% but it does need to say the operation is completed successfully so that's now done and we can take a look at that file so let's go back into here and you can see the file install.wim and I'm going to drag it into the Windows 11 folder these folders are empty and when it's completed I'm going to drag them into these folders so the first one's done and we can go straight in there. Now, I could put it straight into there from that command line if I wanted to, but I wanted to show you into this folder here. So let's go ahead and let's mount our Windows 11 64-bit uh, light version now. Now, you could be using Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, you know, but Windows 10, Windows 11 is probably the most used uh, operating systems right now because of the uh, end of life for the other versions. So let's go ahead and mount the Windows 11 Lite, and uh, we can then extract this. So inside here, this one is called install.esd. 
Now, you may see this, so this is what this one's called. It's not called .wim, and I've made it an ESD file when I created it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this in part of my path. So let's go ahead and change the .wim to ESD. Now, the command is pretty much the same. All I need to do here is change the .wim to .esd, and that's simple. There's three of them here, so let me go ahead and change these, and that's the .wims turned into ESD. So we're pretty much set to extract the other version, which is Windows 11 Lite now. Of course, this could be Windows 10. It doesn't really matter, but we're using two versions of Windows 11. So let's go ahead and copy that first command in, and then open up the command prompt box again, and we'll go in and paste this here. So let's paste. Now, the difference between this one and the one you see previously is there's only one index, and that's because this is my Windows 11 Pro Lite version. I've removed all the other versions from this. So I need to put index one here in my version. So I'm going to change this source code to index one. Copy this and paste in this command, and it will then extract it and put it back into the Win11 ISO folder. So it's now exporting the image, and this will take a bit of time. Be patient. And uh, once that's completed, it should say 100% uh, completed. So that's what we're waiting for here. There we go. And you should see that coming up just at the bottom there of the screen after the 100%. And it's now operation completed successfully. So now we've got both of the uh, install.wim and install.esd in this case. We've got both of those extracted uh, from these uh, images here. So let's go ahead and I'll show you these. So I just need to copy this into the light folder here. So now I've got on Windows 11 install.wim. And on the Windows 11 night, I've got install.esd. Now we need to merge these two into one. And you can do this pretty simply. I'll show you how to do it uh, in the command prompt. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be merging the light version, which is the install.esd, into our standard Windows 11 version. So let me go ahead and do this. So I'm going to copy this path, and we're going to go back to our... Um, document here and then you can see here com uh, the uh, combined command here is here so i need to make some changes to this to make it work so what i'm going to do is change the source for this one here i'm going to paste this in and now we're going to be going straight into this location here so i'm going to take these quotations out again and that's going to go into that version so the source is the windows 11 light so the source file is our windows 11 light that is going to be merged into the Windows 11 one. So let's go ahead now, go to the Windows 11, and this is going to be our destination. So I'm going to right-click on this and copy as path and go back to our document and paste this in as our destination. So let's go ahead and put this in. I'm going to paste this in here, and you should see it pasted in. Let's go. There we go. And just remove the quotations here. I'm going to remove these. Now, another thing to take note here is the index. Now, there is only going to be one index, so I'm going to just quickly copy this and leave the index as one. So if your index is more than one, then you need to change it. Now, we can paste this in and push Enter, and this will start to merge these into one. So basically, all it's going to do here is merge the Windows 11 Lite into the Windows 11 version. And you should see operation has been completed successfully. So now we can go back to our folder here for Windows 11, because this is the one we merged. I can right click on this and open this up with 7-zip. And you should see two versions in here. There we go. There's two versions. And it's now merged these into one ISO image. Now, of course, this is still going to be pretty small. Yours might be uh, 8 gigabytes if you're doing Windows 11 standard and windows 10 standard versions they will be quite large but you can see this one is still relatively small because obviously one version is a light version so now we can use any burn i've showed you this before you can use image burn as well if you wish use the explore button and we're going to choose an, uh, an original windows 11 iso here so i've got one here i'm going to click on this one and we can open this up and what we need to do here is delete the install.wim or install.esd file from this uh, original ISO. 
and you can download these from Microsoft. And what we're going to do here is go inside here and you should see um, the install. Let's go ahead and take a look. I've got a suspicion this will be install.wim. There it is there, install.wim. And we can now remove this by clicking the remove up the top here because we don't need this one. We're going to put our one into it. So let's go ahead and click the add button. And we can now go to our location, which was Win 11 inside here and choose our install.wim and add this to the ISO. Once we've got this done, we can then click on next and move on to the final stage. So we've got the standard ISO image here. And what we need to do is give it a name. So let's give this a name called Win 11 plus light. Now yours can be Win 11 plus Windows 10, whatever you want to do on your creation, click create and it will create the ISO file for us. Now, can I hear you screaming at the monitor? Why would you want to go through all of this trouble when you can just use Ventoy and drop all your ISOs in that uh, USB flash drive and boot to one of the ISOs and install it rather than go through all this palaver? And that's exactly right. You can do that if you want to. So you're going to learn how to merge uh, install.wim and install.esd uh, files in command prompt you can see our iso images here and i got an email from a gentleman saying he would like to merge windows 7 and windows 10 and windows 11 on one iso which would make that iso quite a large iso so this is the reason why people tend to use programs like ventoy to drop all the isos into one and then boot to it and then install it rather than seeing a load of different isos inside here there's other ways of doing this as well but this is by using the command prompt method. And again, it really uh, sort of is a bit of a project, really. There's no real reason to do this anymore when you could use programs like Ventoy and things like that to do it for you and just drop these in and then choose which one you want to install from. So, But if you want a project to do, then that's basically how you can do it. And all you would need to do, if you want to add other ISOs or other versions, you could just add those in and keep doing the same command and, and mending it and, and mounting these ISO files. And it's that simple. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Also a special shout out to Welsh Tony One, Gary Belts, Albert Houston, and also Geo Sam. Have a lovely day and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.